Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel, the place where we simplify software so you can create like a pro. In today's video, we are diving into Genially, the powerful online tool that lets you build interactive presentations, infographics, gamified content, and so much more. Whether you're a teacher, marketer, student, or content creator, Genially helps you bring static slides to life with just a few clicks. No design skills required. By the end of this video, you'll know how to set up your account, explore templates, add animations, insert interactive elements, and publish your first Genially presentation. So if you are ready to impress your audience and level up your storytelling, do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do, visit the official website of Genially. On the top corner, you have the option to log in using your credentials. But of course, we all know that the better option is to click the sign up button. If you do, you'll be forwarded to a new page. It's very simple. You just have to provide all the information needed and follow the on-screen instructions. Now, it's very important for you to provide as much as information as you can because it, it will help the Genially's algorithm to provide a customized dashboard to your preferences. Okay, so so here we are kind of like creating a um, training of videos for you guys. So I'm gonna click that. All right, so we are like we are um, a group of creative individuals. So we're gonna go to the um, maybe freelance and then as you may notice, just click the continue button. And you will be forwarded to the main homepage of Genially. Right? So we have been using Genially for quite some time. And let me tell you that this platform is very easy to use. Right off the bat, you will be forwarded to the uh, main dashboard. Wherein you can feel that it offers an intuitive interface. It's very clean. And you can explore templates right away. Okay, so you can choose for any uh, like games and challenges, live session, quizzes, presentations, courses, infographics, digital publishing, and videos. In our case, we are going to show you how to create a simple presentations, absolutely from scratch or using templates. Now, from the presentation, you can opt for the general themes. Maybe if like a if if you have like a theme in in mind like tarot presentations, film, or maybe the presentation is for a business, you can also choose that, okay? So maybe it's for marketing, you're gonna show it to your agency or to your school, if it's gonna be like for your work or personal um, stuff for university, you can do that. But what I'm gonna do is just go to the general, okay? So you can choose from the layout. Is it gonna be like a landscape or portrait? It's up to you. Okay, so maybe, for example, we're going to be, um, uh, let's say in this instance, we're going to be choosing something like, uh, I don't know, um, maybe this one, chromatic presentation. Now, before you click the uh, template, there's going to be nothing to uh, view. So that you may feel if the template is going to be the uh, best template that represents your identity and of course your um, brand now right off the bat you have the other palettes you can choose from any of the following okay so you're not limited with the uh, default options the three dot gives you more palettes but of course we're going to choose the uh, default for now basically it gives you these specs or specifications for general like 16 by 19 and it's a free template that means there are like templates that requires the premium plan we should avoid that for now because we're trying to test waters using the uh, platform and i'm going to click the use template you will be forwarded to the template editor or the template builder wherein you can have more control so that you can customize the presentations along the way all right so let's say you are a teacher and you wanted to um, create your first presentation okay so in this case we're going to be using this 
tool right here and then on the left uh if you want to change the image there's going to be an option for that okay so click the edit image and then right here you have the option to replace it okay let's do that but if you don't want that, there's going to be an option for you to add a new page, right? So you can choose from any of the following Genially templates. So um, what I'm going to do is maybe um, create maybe from scratch. Okay, so we're going to be um, maybe I'm going to create a blank for now. Okay, so I'm going to drag this to become the first slide here. And from here, you can add um, a background if you want to add a background. Okay, so you can... Um, Upload an image, let's do that. And then you can choose from an AA image, which is going to be part of the premium plan or from device or via link URL. I'm going to choose the from device. So I have two images in place. I'm going to use the first one. That's going to be in the background, right? So that, that's going to be the base. And then here, we're going to go back. If you want to add more text along the way here, maybe that's going to be that. You can drag the text. You can make sure that it doesn't. Um, we're going to choose this. We're going to choose a different color for this one. It's because it's black. So the font color is just here. We would choose something like a white so it best represents. So we have that already covered, right? Now, if you're happy with that, click the percent option. You can click the show creation. All right. So anyone with the link and you have the more settings that here. Enter the description for now. We're going to be using this. I'm going to click the continue button. All right. So it takes a little while at this point. If you're having problems using the uh, generally, you might want to use a VPN because that could interfere with the connection All right now. Okay, so we have that already covered. And as you can see, if you click the uh, go to the next page, we have that already covered. So that's now I leave all the creativity into you. You can update all these by adding more elements in the left side area of the navigation uh, dashboard, interactive elements, resources, interactive questions, widgets, inserts, styles, background and pages. And of course, once you are happy, you have the option to share this to maybe um. And again, you click the share button. Just click the publish changes for now. It's saving the updates. And then what will happen is you have the more options here. You can cl click the private link, create a public link or visible to anyone. It's up to you. All right. I'll leave that uh, to you. If you choose the integration, you can choose of the uh, platforms like Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams or SCORM package. All right. You also have the option to download. We're in. You can choose from any of the following like interactive PDF, image, MP4 video, and of course, view offline. But the thing is, and as you may notice that all these options requires for you to upgrade to the uh, subscription plan. If you feel that Junial is going to be a the platform that answers your business needs, you might want to click the see plans. You will be forwarded here. So if you get the author plans, that's going to be like $35 per month and you get to have all these essentials history, LTI connection, and a lot more, okay? So I leave that to you. And with that being said, and there you have it. That's how you can use Genially to create your very first interactive presentation, complete with animations, clickable elements, and engaging design features that really bring your content to life. It's an incredibly powerful platform for anyone looking to stand out. The interface is user-friendly, as you have noticed, the templates are modern and dynamic. And of course, the customization options gives you the complete creative control. It is a fantastic tool if you are ready to ditch boring presentations and truly captivate your audience. Whether you're a teacher, marketer, student, or content creator, genuinely makes it incredibly easy to turn static slides into immersive experiences without needing to know a single line of code. And again, if you found this video helpful, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss future videos just like this one. 
If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Would love to hear from you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.